Hey there. So I'm down at the beach. Malibu's over my shoulder. I gotta say, I love those mountains over there. And uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking about, like yesterday I was driving around and I felt like I'm just living off the grid in, in, in plain sight. Um, not being attached to anything, just feeling really disconnected from everything. And started thinking about network marketing, of course, which has gotten a bad name, and rightfully so. In the past, I've been on the receiving end of some of the crap and I shut my business down because I didn't want to bring people into that. I wasn't going to duplicate that, which I was experiencing. So then I had to really sit with it and think, so I don't have to duplicate that. I can find the people that are doing it honestly. And there, there's big changes in the industry. People are realizing you can't just say, oh, it's easy, and I have all this free time. Meanwhile, I'm watching, and it's not so easy. Like any business, it's not that easy to get started and to keep it going. And uh, people initially don't have, like, you can put into as, as much time as you want, but when they say you have all this free time and I'm watching people doing 10 and 12 hours a day, I'm like, that's not a lot of free time. But what you do have is location freedom of where you want to do your business. And the more I thought about this and I started seeking out people who were doing it, what I felt was ethically, even within the company I'm in or elsewhere, it doesn't matter, you still take the same lessons and teachings and apply them to your business. And maybe it's just too many years of 12-step under my belt as well. And there were mistakes that I made of not calling people out because, uh, well, you know, sometimes friendships are harder. And my part in all that was to not say, I don't care about your friendship, this is about my business. And this is What's going on here is affecting my business, and I really don't care how me saying something is going to affect your friendship. Because quite honestly, it's probably affecting somebody else's business as well. And I learned that lesson because I did keep my mouth shut. I had to think about what's my part in, in things. And so, I've, you know, I've decided, and this is the really hard part, I can see the benefits really big benefits in network marketing. The reason that people diss it so much is because, quite frankly, they're off the grid. They're not buying advertising on television. So, of course, TV shows are going to diss it. I've seen it. They're not buying advertising. They're not hiring actors. They're not hiring crew because they don't need to. Because they're giving that money to the distributors or associates rather than putting it paying out millions of dollars for advertising and for what all goes into it uh, the company I'm with is privately owned they're now shareholders to, to keep happy they readjust and they look at things and they come back in and they reassess readjust revise their compensation plan, and they just did that so that people are making more money. Um, and I don't know what companies do that. Actually, any company that would do that. So, I really had to sit with this a lot and look at, well, what else is going on with me? What's the other issues? And it's commitment. You start a business, there's a commitment to it. And there's a commitment to the people that you bring in, the customers, and to the other business builders. And my fear was that I wasn't going to stay committed. And I thought, man, I've never stayed committed to anything. That's why I'm single. I can't do commitment. And then I thought about that yesterday, and I talked to a friend of mine, and I said, but yet, here I've been committed to L.A. for 40 years, 
has committed to the same landlord for 31 years. Three different places to the same landlord for 31 years. And to actually to the same industry, the medical industry, for what, about 40 years, 30, 37, 38 years before I left, walked away because I wouldn't take the little, um, so yeah, I've done commitment. I just don't think I've done commitment to me that deeply. And that's part of what my journey is going to be about now. Is, so what is that going to look like? And I have no idea. I really don't. I have no clue what that's going to look like. It's a very strange place to be standing right now. Feeling so disconnected from everything. Still loving the mountains behind me. And of course, the ocean to my side. But everything is changing. And for years I was committed to getting people healthy, getting them moving again, getting them walking. When I first started PT, man, everybody was going to fucking walk. I was picking them up, dragging them across the floor. In fact, when I left my first job, they did a skit in a day in the life of Terry Snyder, and they imitated me picking patients up and dragging them across the floor. And then I got to a point where I just realized like, if somebody's 95 years old or even 85 and they don't want to fucking do it again, I'm like, that, who am I to say? You have to get up and you have to walk. It's not for me to say. So I kind of, I stepped back from that, but I still wanted to get people healthy and still have them do as much as they could to help the person that was helping them instead of sitting back and, and uh, having everything done for them. So I started changing things, changing the way I work with patients, changing the way I work with caregivers. And that the caregivers, they put themselves, their safety first, and their patient would always be safe. And that the patient's job was to help whoever was helping them. And they got it, it worked. But now with everything going on, in the medical field, I can't quite figure out why more people aren't taking care of how do they go to the doctor less? What do they have to do so that they're healthier? So that they don't have to participate in that in the medical field as much. They don't have to go as often or maybe not at all. What do they have to do and how can they walk away from that? You can't can listen I remember it was back in the 90s when hospitals were closing units not because people didn't have insurance but quite frankly because people were taking better care of themselves they were doing some preventative medicine that's where all the city gardens started coming in uh, so that people would get healthier food and they started consuming that they started getting out and walking doing things and then somehow or other we got away from that and people need to go back to the medical field because of course you can't have people walking away from the medical field that will kill an industry so they create shit to keep the industry going but how many how many would be willing to go you know what she's got a point how do we keep from going? How do we start taking that power back? How do we... I don't know. I mean, I've already done it. I, I, you can reverse aging. People call it anti-aging. It's not anti-aging. We're still going to age. I just don't want to look like a fucking prune or apple doll doing it. And I also don't want my joints feeling like and sounding like the old floorboards in these old houses. We don't have to. We don't have to keep supporting the pharmaceutical companies. Start looking into what's out there. There are many companies out there, and I'm with one that I really like, and I like their, their research that they do, and that 
they don't get to look at the research before it's published. That's pretty important. It's a pretty confident company, too. They know their stuff is good. They don't need to see it before it gets published. They know how good it is. <laughs> but not every company does that. Some companies want to see the research first so they can have it tweaked. Isogenics doesn't do that. They don't, they're signed a contract saying that they don't, they do not have right of first refusal. That's pretty powerful. So go out there, start looking at other companies, other uh, nutritional ways of getting the nutrition your body needs. Stop giving these companies so much power. Take your power back. Those of us that voted for Trump, yes, he gave people power back. Of course, the other side and the rhinos weren't going to like that, so they did what they could to take that power back. It's a constant struggle. But what if you could take it back? Your medical power, your freedom of... I mean, that's one of the things I felt this week is just so free not being connected to anything. It's very, very different. And now I kind of feel like I just want to travel around anywhere and everywhere just for the hell of it and help others that want to get to that same place. That want to be able to walk away from whatever it is that's got them, holding them so tightly. Job or career or whatever and just how do you how do you do that well look into the network marketing go look into it the 331 or 39 billion dollar industry there's a reason that it's so powerful find a product that you like look into their compensation plan see how it works but go do your homework on it and see if you can't Align yourself with a company that's going to help you get that same level of freedom. And don't say, oh, we can't afford it. It's bullshit. You're buying food anyway. You're going to the market to buy food. What I take in is food. I'm getting ready to order some to take with me on my trip. It's going to... What I have on the list is like two, less than $250 that's going to be several, many meals for the next two, three weeks that I'm not going to have to spend out. So to say, oh, I can't afford it. No, you can. You're going to go to the market. You're going to spend that money in the market. Spend, and in the market, you don't really know what you're getting, do you? Get cricket powder in your food. If you're buying from the middle aisles, you're getting junk food. That's not going to help you step away from the medical field go in there and look at how much are you spending in the market and then how much would you be spending on stuff from a nutritional company a health and wellness company that really focuses on healthy nutrition and there are several out there you just have to find the one that resonates for you um, <laughs> Most of them will have a trial, a 30 day trial. I know we do. <clears throat> get a product, you buy a system. If within 30 days you don't like it, you get your full refund. Most companies will do that. You can't do that in the market. You can't go into your supermarket and go get a canister of protein or a meal replacement, take it home, try it, not like it, and then take it back can't do that. You're screwed. I know I've t had some protein powder that I ended up throwing over the lawn, hoping it was going to kill my lawn because I bought it from the supermarket. Actually, it was a health food store. And it tasted awful. I don't know how the hell people take that stuff. But look into what can you, what cords can you cut? What can you disconnect from? And how willing are you to take a look at something 
that is going to, you know, people are going to scoff, people are going to mock. I know, I've heard it. But I also know I'm watching people who have been able to step away from their 9 to 5 or add to whatever it is their 9 to 5 is and have a lifestyle that even now in a recession, they're actually doing fairly well. <clears throat> they're not feeling it as much. You know, government does this shit on purpose. It keeps the vibrational frequency lower. When they can do that shit, they can raise taxes on everything, it lowers the vibrational frequency, and it keeps everybody down here, rather than allowing everybody to, to vibrate at that higher vibrational frequency. Go in there and look at what's going to help you to vibrate at that higher vibrational frequency. Financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And the stuff is out there. You gotta just find it. You gotta be willing to take that take that step. You also have to be willing to break through your own crap like I'm having to do. And uh, good lord, make commitments. Oh, God, this is a tough one. I guess it's time make a commitment to me. All right, that's it for now. Have a good one.